Hello friends, welcome to Crazy Medicine YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about myasthenia gravis and their important points for NEET PG and upcoming next exam. Do watch full video for complete understanding. First of all, pathophysiology. Myasthenia gravis is disorder of neuromuscular junction. Basically, there is decrease in number of postsynaptic acetylcholine receptors or there are antibodies that is B-cell mediated to acetylcholine receptors. And most of the patients with myasthenia have thymus pathology. And 40% of patients will have anti-musk antibody positive, which is usually present in ocular myasthenia with bulbar palsy. Now coming to clinical features. Myasthenia gravis has bimodal distribution. The early onset that is presentation at second or third decade. It is usually associated with other autoimmune conditions like pernicious anemia, type 1 diabetes, etc. It is more common in female than male. And late onset presentation is after 5th decade. And ocular features include ptosis with diplopia. And remember friends, early muscle to get involved is medial rectus. So the earliest thing to affect it in eye is adduction of the eye. Then pharyngeal or barbar symptoms. It includes dysphagia and dysarthria. Due to involvement of facial muscles, the patient will have a snarling appearance. Then coming to skeletal muscle weakness. It starts with proximal muscle and then progress to distal muscles. Usually patients present with easy fatigability which is classically demonstrated as evening fatigability and the involvement of respiratory muscles is usually late. Now coming to important point, the things which are normal in myasthenia gravis. Deep tendon reflexes are preserved, sensory system is normal, there is no bowel and bladder dysfunction, cognition is not impaired and pupillary and accommodation reflex are intact. These points are important clinically in your MEBS exam as well as for the long history based questions which may be expected in the upcoming NEET. Then coming to investigations. First of all, adrophonium test, which is also known as Tensilon test. Adrophonium is anticholinesterase inhibitor, which is given at a dose of 2 mg. After giving adrophonium, if there is improvement, the test is considered positive. The most specific test. For myasthenia gravis is acetylcholine receptor antibodies testing. It is positive in nearly 85% of the patients with myasthenia gravis and 50% of the patients with ocular myasthenia. Most sensitive test or we can say gold standard test is single muscle electromyography. It detects action potential of individual muscle fiber. The next is repeated nerve stimulation. Repeated nerve stimulation shows decremental response in myasthenia gravis. Then there is something called as ice pack test. When you keep ice pack in the patient eyelid, the symptoms improve and it is considered as positive. Now coming to important part which is management of myasthenia gravis. The first is acetylcholine estrase inhibitors and the drug of choice is pyridostigmine. Neostigmine also can be used. Pyridostigmine is given at the dose of 30 to 50 mg every 6 hourly. Then second is immunosuppressions. It includes glucocorticoid therapy, azathioprine, mycophenolate mafetil, cyclosporin and tacrolimus. Third is plasmapheresis and intravenous immunoglobins. The indications are myasthenia crisis, refractory myasthenia gravis or when the myasthenia patient planned for surgery such as thymectomy. And thymectomy may be performed in patient with acetylcholine receptor antibody positive and generalized myasthenia. Role of thymectomy is less in ocular myasthenia in patient with anti-musk antibody positive. So friends that's it for the video. These were the most important points for NEET PG related to myasthenia gravis. Also watch our other videos related to NEET PG. So like and subscribe our channel and also share it among your friends. Thank you.